Yo guys, it's your mom here, back in the video, and today we are doing the preparations for the third race in the Illusion Grips Forza 7 Grand Prix. Now, I've had a request to actually put the standings up in these videos, so the standings will be uh, right at the end of the video. Uh, I'll show you guys what we have so far heading into the third race. But the th So the third race is Rise of the Supercar 8 laps at Circuit of the Americas, the Grand Prix circuit that is, one quick stop. Uh, these cars, now sometimes they are homologated, sometimes they aren't, but since we're doing Rise of the Supercar, these will all be homologated. So these are the current cars, right? They're all around 746 to 750. So you got the M1, the AB110, uh, that right there, I'm predicting will win the race. Uh, obviously all the Ferraris, I know the F50 is really good. Um, someone I know was putting in 2 minute 20s uh, with the non-homologated. And so we'll have to see what the uh, 50 provides when it's homologated. So obviously some are a little bit lower than uh, the actual thing. These cars are kind of expensive, I think, but I'm pretty sure you get them by uh, doing the career mode or something, like because that's what I did. Uh, and this the Jaguar is always on the it's always on sale, so that's good. Um, so this is a really good one as well. The uh, XJ220. You just did uh, different Diablos there. The McLaren F1 is definitely a good one, although McLaren hasn't done too well so far. We had McLaren once, and uh, it didn't do the greatest so far. And then obviously the uh, 959, probably won't see a whole lot of people in that one. Uh, obviously the one quick stop too, so I'm going to just do a quick lap in the F50. So uh, I'll do the same thing as I did last time, kind of just explain a lap around the circuit. And uh, if you guys don't know... Um, I'll do it again where I show uh, how long the pit stop takes and then right at the end obviously I'll have the current standings so if you uh, are a little bit confused about how the standings work remember six drivers make it in and if you win a race you're automatically in so uh, Schmidt and Nismo Kings are automatically in for the playoffs but they still need to get points because they need to build up a little bit of a lead before the points kind of get divided to make it a little bit closer. So even if you don't win a race, you could still make it. But if there's six different race winners and you don't win a race, then you're out. Which kind of sucks. So let's just go around the F50 here. Remember, there's eight laps. Now, these races take about 20 minutes. Uh, we got a couple. Obviously, we have three more races after this. So the F50 is going to be a big one. Let's just kind of see what kind of time we're looking at here. I'm not a great driver. Uh, I test the seconds like it was at Spa. It's probably the same thing because the track is just as long as Spa. So let's see how long it is here. We go in at 25 seconds, probably come out about 30. Yep, 30. And the pit stop on this track is very, it's very weird. So you're going to want to like not make sure you don't crash. It's longer than Spa. It's going to be about 45 seconds, I'd say. Yeah, more like 47. So you gotta be careful here. Make sure when you come out of the pit stop, you stay on the left side of that line. Like I did there. Because that's, you don't wanna like go across their line and then cause an accident or that would be a penalty. So yeah, hope you guys uh, are ready for this race. And I am as well to commentate over it. So yeah, check out the standings that we had already. And yeah, peace. 